Welcome to CyberAge video series on the CompTIA Security Plus 501 Certification and Exam. I'm your instructor, Ron Werner. This video is on Section 1.5, Explain Vulnerability Scanning Concepts, which is part of Domain 1, Threat, Attacks, and Vulnerabilities. In this video, I'll talk about the following concepts associated with vulnerability scanning. I'll address the process for vulnerability scanning passively testing security controls, identifying the vulnerability, identify the security controls that are lacking, and then common misconfigurations. There are also different types of vulnerability scans you need to be familiar with, intrusive versus non-intrusive, credentials versus non-credentialed, and then what is a false positive. In the previous video on section 1.4 on penetration testing, I explained the difference between penetration testing, vulnerability scanning, and risk assessments. Please refer to that video for information on those topics to understand the similarities and differences between them. I'll begin this video by describing and defining vulnerability and vulnerability scanning. Vulnerability is a weakness or a flaw in a system that can leave it open to attack. It may also refer to any type of weakness in the computer system itself, in a set of procedures, an application, or anything that leaves information security exposed to a threat. A vulnerability scan is an inspection of the potential points of exploit on a computer or network to identify security holes. It detects and classifies system weaknesses in computers, networks, applications, and communications equipment and predicts the effectiveness of countermeasures. Be familiar with these definitions as we walk through the steps and attributes in this video. The goal of a vulnerability scan or vulnerability assessment is to identify system network or application weaknesses, identify unpatched or not updated systems or applications, common misconfigurations, so systems that are not complying with a standard baseline, or other types of lacks of, of security controls. On your screen is a process for conducting a vulnerability scan or vulnerability assessment. You start by passively testing security controls, not exploiting any vulnerability. It's a passive test, which I'll explain in a moment. Step two, identify the vulnerability system flaw or unpatched code. This could be done through an automated system or through manual means. You should also identify lack of security controls, so misconfigurations or not setting appropriate standards or policies on the computer system. Lastly is identifying common misconfigurations by reviewing system settings, policies, or rule sets. There are different types of vulnerability scans and vulnerability assessments. First is intrusive versus non-intrusive. I also discuss this when talking about penetration testing. You should also refer to passive versus active reconnaissance from that video. An intrusive scan directly engaging the target system to identify weaknesses that could be used to launch an attack, actually interfacing with the system that you might be attacking. A non-intrusive vulnerability assessment gains vulnerability information about the targeted computers and networks without actively engaging with the systems. A good example is Qualys SSL Labs, finding information about a website and their certificates using an internet service. Another type of vulnerability assessment is credentialed versus non-credentialed. Do you have access credentials, a user ID and password or not? Whether or not authenticated credentials are used in scanning. Credentialed has lesser risks, so I'll use credentials, user IDs and passwords, to run my vulnerability test, which is kind of like insider knowledge. It's a type of white box testing, as opposed to non-credentialed, more like black box testing. Black box is a little more realistic compared to white box, so non-credentialed, more realistic versus credentialed. A false positive occurs when this, a scan mistakenly identifies a vulnerability when it's not really there. Be aware of false positives, and this is why you need to scrub your results of your vulnerability scans to look for false positives, because they might be indicative of a security problem when one does not really exist. 
In this video, I discuss section 1.5 about vulnerability scanning concepts. Let's practice on a sample quiz question. Question. You've been asked to conduct an internal vulnerability assessment for your organization. Which of the following steps should you avoid in determining system or network weaknesses to minimize risk? The answer is B, exploiting unpatched applications. Exploiting is a part of penetration testing and not a part of vulnerability assessments. This concludes the video for section 1.5 where I explained vulnerability scanning concepts. Refer to your study material for more information on this topic.